RSVP, what does it mean and why is it important? Hello, dear learners. Today, we'll be delving into a term that you've probably come across on event invitations, emails, or maybe even on social media, RSVP. Let's understand what it means and why it's commonly used. RSVP is an acronym that originates from the French phrase, répondez s'il vous plaît. When translated to English, it means, please respond. This phrase was adopted into the English language, and now it's frequently used around the world, especially in formal invitations. RSVP is primarily found on invitations, be it for weddings, parties, official events, or any other gathering. The host includes this term to request the recipients to let them know if they are attending the event or not. Imagine you're hosting a party and you need to know how much food and drinks to prepare, or you're organizing a workshop and need to arrange seating. Knowing the exact number of attendees makes planning much easier. That's where RSVP comes into play. When you see RSVP on an invitation, it's your cue to respond. There are usually a few ways to do so. 1. By mail. If the invitation includes a response card, you can fill it out and mail it back. 2. By phone. Some invitations provide a phone number to call and confirm attendance. 3. Online. Nowadays, many events have online registration or email confirmation. Regardless of the method, it's courteous to respond by the given deadline. If no deadline is specified, aim to reply as soon as possible. Always respond. It's polite to always send a response, even if you're not attending. The host needs to know. Stick to your word. Once you've confirmed your attendance, make every effort to attend. If something unexpected comes up, inform the host as soon as possible. Plus ones, if the invitation specifies that you can bring a guest, often denoted as plus one, you can. If not, it's generally considered rude to bring someone who wasn't specifically invited. And that wraps up our discussion on RSVP. Next time you receive an invitation with these letters, you'll know exactly what to do. We hope this video has made the concept clear and will aid you in your interactions in the English-speaking world. Until next time, happy learning!